welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Dana and I am a travel blogger based in New York City. And this video is all about planning your trip to Positano. This video will include um, how to get there, where to stay and what to do. This travel guide will help you plan your trip to Positano and kind of give you the ins and outs on what to expect when you're there. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is how to get to Positano. Your best bet is flying into Naples or Rome. If you're flying into Naples airport, there are a few ways that you can get to Positano. It's a bus that takes you directly to Sorrento. There's also a train that takes you there as well, the Circumvesuvia train, or you could take a ferry. I would have taken the bus to Sorrento just because it's a direct bus right into the city and it's a little safer than the Circumvesuvia train that I actually took. I did not like that train at all. We got on the train at like 7 p.m., which isn't that late, but it was so sketchy. There was just professional pickpockets on the train. I did not feel comfortable. Obviously having luggages and stuff makes you like a target for them. But once we got closer to Sorrento, there was less people bothering us. If you do take the train, make sure your phone and your valuables in a zippered bag. Don't take them out the whole time. So once you're in Sorrento, you can then take the Cita bus or you can take a ferry. You can rent a private car from Naples airport and go into Positano that will range above 100 euro. If you're flying into Rome, you can take a express train to Salerno. And from Salerno, you can take a ferry to Positano. Okay, where to stay in Positano? So Positano is gorgeous. I think anywhere you stay is gonna have an amazing view, so that's awesome. I stayed on the Fornilo side, which is basically not like the center of town. It was a little bit over to the side, so my view wasn't like the Positano view that you see in pictures. However, my view was amazing and the best part, it was cheaper than the um, accommodations that are on the main strip. So when you're finding accommodation, definitely look in advance. That's the best advice I can give you, especially if you're going during high season, there's going to be places that are sold out. I booked my hotel about like three months before I went and I checked his summer reservations and they were all booked out. So if you want to find like a budget place, definitely, definitely book ahead. Like this place I stayed at was about 150 a night. So it was a really budget place i would highly recommend it i stayed at the venus inn and it's a bed and breakfast so in the morning he'll make you breakfast like fruit croissant coffee and you get to sit on your own patio okay getting around positano so the main way that you're going to be getting around is walking there are buses that run on the only two streets that positano has but you could easily walk positano like from one end to the other within 20 minutes there are tons of stairs though in Positano, so be prepared to walk up and down many flights of stairs. I didn't find it to be as exhausting as I thought it would be. If you want to get to another town on the Amalfi Coast, you can take a bus or you could take a ferry. Ferries are going to be a little bit more expensive, but they're going to be so scenic. You can get to see all the beautiful landscape of the Amalfi Coast. So if you're going to go to Amalfi or Salerno, definitely take a ferry. On the main beach, you'll find a place where you can buy ferry tickets the day of. However, what I really wanted to do was rent a Vespa. There's one Vespa rental company in Positano. Rental is about like 70 euro per day and it's for the full day. So let's talk about food. So the food that you're gonna expect is Italian. There really isn't any other cuisine in Positano and expect the food to be a bit pricey. We spent a lot of money on food. The food there is really delicious. It's not too expensive, but there's a lot of fine dining establishment. The place I went to the most was Bar Buca de Baco, right on the beach. Super casual walk-up spot. You can get pizza, sandwiches, like a glass of wine. I don't like to have like a sit-down meal at every meal, just because it takes a lot of time. Another restaurant that I really liked was Sarancheno de Oro. That restaurant was super cool. It wasn't too expensive, which was a plus, and the whole environment was super relaxed, which I felt so comfortable in. I like the places that you can kind of feel super comfortable. Yeah, I really like this restaurant a lot. Okay, in Positano, you're gonna wanna get drinks. Aperitivo is like Italian happy hour. So you do get some small bites with your drinks. And there were some favorite places that I loved going to. I loved Franco's bar. It was basically like an NYC rooftop bar. It was super like trendy. It's spot of Positano. No one there was Italian. Everyone was speaking English. So it's not cultural at all, but you get the most iconic view of Positano from that bar. They only serve drinks and the aperitivo snacks. 
I recommend getting there super early because the best seats along the water do get taken up first. And my other favorite spot was Hotel Poseidon. Oh my goodness, the views were actually the opposite of um, Franco's Bar, but they were amazing. The staff there was so nice. Like we actually went back twice because we loved it. The drinks were really great and strong and we had a great time and when it got cold out they gave us like blankets to wear because it was cold like they were so sweet and i would definitely recommend checking that place out for drinks okay shopping in positano there are tons of touristy shops that you could look at you're gonna find like positano clothes a lot of like sundresses you're gonna find lemon cello lemon based everything everything has a lemon on it which is so cute and then you're gonna find a lot of places to get your sandals made so these are the sandals that I got made. I went to Argentano Rallo. There's the logo. You can find this on the main road near the north side of the town. They were so nice there. Basically like it was a family business run for like three generations or more. And the son is actually working in there. He was the one who made my shoes. And they were so sweet. Other shops that I went into to get my sandals done, they were just not very friendly. However, the place that I did go to is a little bit more pricey than the other ones on the streets, but they were so nice. It was like almost worth paying more to like have a fun time and let me take videos and pictures. I think the reason why the other places did not want me in there was because I had my big camera on my body. Taking pictures inside the shops in Positano is a no-no. Just because a lot of people come in from other places, take pictures, and then make copycat goods somewhere else for cheaper. You can definitely go to Positano on somewhat of a budget. Your food and beverage costs are going to be the highest. Um, don't drink out a lot is what I say about drinking. If you go to a nicer place, you're gonna be spending about 100 US dollars per for two people, which isn't completely outrageous, but it's just every day does add up, especially if you had lunch. So just be wary of that. There's some budget-friendly restaurants in Positano. I would say go to Bar Bugu de Baco. And then there's a cool coffee shop. I really liked Colina Bakery. They have sandwiches and all kinds of like smaller, like American type food as well as sweets and coffee so that was a place i really enjoy checking out as well also if you want to be on budget don't go during high season go in may or like at the end of summer if you go during june july august i'm um, just good luck all right what to pack everyone looks really nice so the town to dress up in it's really fun to do so um just bring like a jacket at night because sometimes it does get cold and because there are so many stairs in Positano, make sure you bring comfortable shoes. My favorite wedges that I wore, they're from Viscata. Like I wear these all the time there and they are more comfortable than my sneakers. Perfect Positano shoe. And then what to do in Positano. There is so much to do, even though it is like a beachside town. You can spend your days at the beach. There are two beaches in Positano. There's the Fornillo Beach, Fornillo Beach, and the Spagia Grande, which is the bigger main beach. The Fornillo side is like very local and very calm, not many people. And then the main beach is like the center of town. There are amazing boat companies that you can rent a boat to wherever. I went with Blue Star and we did a private tour of the Amalfi Coast, which was awesome. They also do group tours, which are more budget friendly. They go to Capri on a group tour and they also go to the Amalfi Coast on a group tour. So those are awesome tours that you should check out. Chat with the locals, like they're, it's so interesting to know like most people grew up in Positano and they've seen it change from like a small village to now this major tourist destination. So getting their perspective is always interesting. If you have any other questions about Positano, I would be so happy to answer them. Just leave me a comment down below and I would definitely get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.